Today, we're looking at the top 10 shortest NHL players of all time. Number 10. Alex Dabrinkat, 5'7". As right wing, Dabrinkat brought a lot of skill to the game, but not a whole lot of inches. The short king can still put up points though, so size really doesn't matter. He was traded to the Senators in 2020. Number 9. Brian Gionta, 5'7". Brian might be short, but his career certainly wasn't. He racked up over a thousand games playing for the Sabres, the Devils, and Canadians. He also had a short stint with the Boston Bruins. Number 8. Henri Richard, 5'7". Richard ran up 11 Stanley Cups and over a thousand points, but still couldn't reach the top shelf. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> He won the most cups of any player. Number 7. Ivan Roadrunner Cornwaye, 5'7". The Habs just love their short kings. Cornwaye won 10 cups. Sometimes it seems like you really have to hand it to Montreal because they usually can't reach. Number 6. Gump Worsley, 5'7". This guy may not look like a professional athlete, but he won NHL Rookie of the Year and four Stanley Cups. Number 5. Robbie Moore, 5'5". Five five. He was 5'5 five five and played five NHL games, but had two short outs. I mean shutouts. Number 4. Darren Pang, 5'5". Five five. Panger is more well known for being on TV than he was for playing goal. His short-lived career lasted 81 games. Number 3. Theo Fleury. 5'6". Fleury's career was cut short, but he played over a thousand NHL games and was just over a point per game. Number 2. Nathan Gerby, 5'5". Five five. Gerby was short, but fast, and this led to him running around the NHL for 435 games. Some sites have listed him as 5'4", but what's an inch between friends, am I right? Number 1. Roy Shrimp Warthers. 5'3". Nickname says it all. With nearly 500 games, the Shrimp posted 66 shutouts and went to two All-Star games. And that was our top 10 shortest NHL players of all time. Make sure to subscribe to Outside the League for hockey content you can't get anywhere else.